Hello, I'm Mandy Dos Santos, nutritionist, food scientist, and chief kitchen mess maker at Little People Nutrition. Today's video is part of a series we have created in collaboration with the Central Coast Council. These videos address some of the common concerns and questions that childcare educators have around children and eating in an early learning centre environment. Today's video is all about how to help fussy eaters in a childcare environment during the mealtime setting. Supporting fussy eaters at mealtimes is challenging in a home environment and an early learning centre environment. We must remind ourselves that a learning mindset is crucial to developing a positive relationship with food for little people. And they need that understanding from us, the adults and carers in their life. Just as a little one is learning to go to the loo or learning to sleep or draw, they are also learning what and how to eat at home and most definitely at childcare too. We need to have patience and a process on how we will tackle their learning of how to eat. One theory that complements and supports this learning mindset is Ellen Satter's division of responsibility theory. What is it? Well, an adult is responsible for what will be served, where it will be served, and when it will be served. A child is responsible for if they will eat it and how much. Let's delve a little deeper into the adult's responsibility. First off, where the meal will take place and when the meal will take place. Children thrive in a strong foundation of rhythm in their day and giving them clues as to what is about to happen. Let us have a think about the meal time. What can we do in a childcare environment that can assist with this? Perhaps having an environmental area that is set up specifically for meal times. Is the area quiet and without distraction? No television, no loud music, and if the educators are nearby, they're chatting quietly. Do the children know that is where they will be eating? Never assume. Do they have specific spots or do they vary day to day? Some fussy eaters might prefer a specific spot. One thing I realize the most with children is the difficulty they face in transitioning between activities or situations. In regards to meal times, this transition can be fraught with nerves for little ones. So have a think about how we can let a child know what they're going to be eating as well as when it will be meal time. Perhaps you have two bells, one for a 10 minute warning and one for now it's time to wash your hands. Perhaps there is a special spot song that you all sing to pack away specifically before meal times. Perhaps you bring them to read a story and then the children go and wash their hands. Or perhaps you light a candle to let them know that meal time will begin soon. It is important to have a simple yet consistent rhythm for the children to engage with so they can tune into what that means for them. Obviously, it is also important to keep a consistent time as to when the meals are served, even though in an early learning environment, children cannot read the time. But with some simple and calm transition cues, children will be able to understand what is happening. In between the meal times, if a child is asking for food, it is helpful to let them know that the meal time will be coming when we sing the song or when the bell rings, for example, and then distract them into another activity. Now let's look at what will be cooked and served, the final responsibility for adults. In a childcare, this is more straightforward in regards to menu planning. It is important though, that what we are serving is also served in a way that is beneficial and helpful for children. As remember, they are learning about food and eating. For instance, seemingly simple dishes can be quite confronting. Mixed dishes in particular are an example of this. And I'm not saying not to serve mixed dishes because this is part of the learning process for children to be able to eat them. But have a think about how you could offer them deconstructed. So that there's more of a choice for children that might not like certain foods touching each other. 
Another important note in terms of what is served and serving is to think about having some common safe foods available. This will improve the rate of children eating at the meal and also feeling comfortable. A safe food is a food the children feel comfortable with and often this can be foods such as plain pasta, rice or bread for instance. Therefore it's quite helpful to have this separated from the other components of the meal like we mentioned in the serving of deconstruction. And then, if there is a child that doesn't like the meal served, at least they might be able to have some plain wrap with a little bit of cheese on top. This keeps them as part of the meal time and doesn't separate them physically from the meal time or from what they are eating. Remember though, child cares are not restaurants. So giving a separate meal to a child, unless there is a dietary requirement, is not a good habit to get into. But if we do have a safe food interdispersed within a meal, there's something for them to choose from. The hardest part for adults, carers and educators in this theory is often giving children the ownership over their responsibility in this theory, which is a child decides if they will eat and how much. Yes, a child decides if they will Ill eat the meal you have served. And if they do decide to eat it, they decide if they would like three pieces of pasta, one cherry tomato, and seven slices of cheese. This of course in a childcare environment is difficult to scope for when introducing a new meal. But this is when deconstruction can be helpful. As an adult and carer, it is super common to struggle with this part of the theory. We want the child to finish their meal we want them to be full, satisfied and nourished to grow strong and learn. But in our attempts to help, we actually detract from the goal of developing a positive relationship with food. By forcing a child to eat more, they will not learn to like that food. They will feel pressured and perhaps dislike the food, the environment and perhaps the person who has pressured them. They lose their awareness of when they are full they become fearful of mealtime. They might become distrustful of mealtime and the carer. If you have a consistent rhythm with your eating schedule, you know there will be another mealtime in a few hours. So this child who has only eaten one spoon of rice will have another mealtime occasion very soon. So remember, with the division of responsibility, an adult carer or educator is responsible for what will be served, when it will be served, and where it will be served. And a child is responsible for if they will eat it and how much. I do hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like some more information, visit our website or our social channels where you'll find more activities, resources, and recipes that will be able to help you in a childcare environment. See you next time.